Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. I'm so glad you're here. If you like what you see, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. So today, this is behind my couch. It's actually one of two doors that I put sideways to make it look like a window, but it came off of a DVD cabinet which I don't use anymore. But I love the way the doors looked. So I've always had this sitting behind my couch. So today we are gonna use some vintage pictures, some Mod Podge and a few stamps to try to make a vintage window display, okay? I've never done this before. That's why I said try to make. <laughs> a lot of this that I'm doing in this video is new. But I found these amazing vintage pictures on a Facebook group and we used to live in Michigan and these are pictures of Detroit back in the day so I thought it would be cool to bring a little bit of home to me since we don't live there anymore and I love old city pictures so I printed these out on my printer just regular inkjet printer and I'm just using some tape to peel off the back layer. Printer paper is pretty thick, and if you put some tape on the back of your printer paper and gently pull away, you peel off a layer of paper, as you can see. And you can actually see the image backwards. Um, I wanted this image thin on my window. So all of the images I am putting on the back of this. and. It's hard to see right now because I can't have full view of the whole door, but each glass panel has four windows on it and it's one cohesive piece of glass. So I have actually two glass panels on the back of this door. So it's kind of easy for me. This isn't your standard window where every pane is individual. I can actually flip my door over and attach these to the back on that one piece of glass. Um, and I wanted it thin because I really am going to try to distress this and make this look vintage and make these pictures look older and not print it out on printer paper, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So at first, I was just going to Mod Podge where my picture was going to be. So you see me here putting some Mod Podge down and not really getting it where the picture isn't. I did change my mind. I'm being real careful right now. This is a picture without the Mod Podge around it. I actually took some ink and I had gone around as well. I didn't like that. I was trying like different things to try to age these pictures. Um, and then I took some Waverly and Truffle, I think, and dabbed around my picture. I wanted the edges to kind of be like brown, old, and I didn't like that either. <laughs> I'm keeping it in the video to show you in case you were like, well, I'll use paint. You might like the fact I didn't think it did enough. I really wanted these to look old. So that really didn't do it. I'm still, as you can see the picture, the glass around the picture is still clear. Um, in the picture itself, because of the Mod Podge, you can see like blotches and if it wrinkled, I kept a little bit of the wrinkles in there to make it seem older again. Um, so here's my thought process. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, hmm, my pictures were not big enough. If you're wondering why I didn't feel, just put a big picture down. Um, I had some pictures that would have worked and filled up the whole area, and then other pictures were smaller. So I opted to cut all of my pictures down smaller and have that glass show around the edges. Um, so here I'm just adding the last few pictures into each of the sections. And I think right now is where I'm realizing if I do the Mod Podge on the glass, I'm gonna get that cloudy effect. I thought that was cool. So. Instead of being careful, like I was with all of the other ones, <laughs> of course, you, you always get your idea right at the end. But here I'm like, hmm, I kind of like that the Mod Podge is going to give the glass a cloudy film. 
goes along with the vintage look I'm trying to achieve here. So I'm like, ding, 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 okay, paint your glass, paint the whole glass with the Mod Podge, and that's what you see me doing. Um, I am dabbing where there are a few wrinkles. I'm really not concerned with the wrinkles. I think that adds to the character of the piece. And the Mod Podge did exactly what I wanted it to do. When it dried, it left a cloudy film on the glass. Now, this is really cool, the way it looks right now. I love this, and I, it just wasn't giving me what I had in my head. <laughs> I still think this is awesome. Like, you could just Mod Podge these on, get that cloudiness of the glass. It hasn't fully dried yet. It will get a little clearer here, and you could call it a day. And you would have a really great statement piece of your city if you wanted to do your city vintage back in the day. I absolutely love these pictures. But like I said, I was going for a really old look. So I got me some stamps. And this stamp gives you a crackle look. And oh my goodness. I tested it out, which I normally don't do, guys. I usually always show as I'm doing it, but I never used these stamps before, and I really needed to see how they worked. So on the one side of this, I did test it out. I added brick, white brick, to the front of the glass. So um, the neat thing about this is you can decorate the back of the glass. You can also decorate the front of the glass to get different techniques. Here, I used silver. And it kind of gives it a hint of the brick and the way the light shines on it. That was kind of neat. I wanted more bold though. So I kind of like the white brick. And then my stamp also, as you can see, had crackle. So I put some crackle effect all around the outer edges of the door. And I think it's coming along. Still not what I had in my head. <laughs> so we're going to take it a couple steps further here. So like I said, we I did only one side as a test. I'm going to do this side with you. Here are the stamps. There's stars, there's a wood grain, there's brick, and then there's the crackle. It comes in a pack of four. I will have that linked down below. Um, it'll be under my Amazon section of the description box under items I used in this video. I also bought this set of inks and it came with a lot more colors too. I can link that down below too. So this is my first time with these stamps. Actually, I really haven't done too much stamping. I think another video um, was my actual first time, but not with these. So I'm using black and I'm just making sure it goes all over that crackle stamp. The stamp's pretty big, so I was kind of using sections of the stamp. So I would just set it down and pat, and I kind of could use almost the whole stamp in different areas of it and keep pushing it down and didn't even have to put more ink on it. So look at all of that that I did, and then now I needed more ink, so I'm doing the same thing, just put a little bit more ink on it, and I'm just kind of going all around the door. So, we have our crackle on the front, and I when I did my tester, it was very hard to get that stamp in where I wanted it. So, duh, take the glass out. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this. If I take the glass out, I can maneuver the stamp a lot easier, and I decided to try the back. So this is the side I attach the pictures to. And I'm going to come in with the brick. And I am going to put white paint on the stamp, just Waverly chalk paint. And I'm going to stamp the back. So it's going to be on the same side as my pictures. Um, I do, on my other side, I do have some brick on the front. This is kind of like a work in progress. I'm trying all these different things. Now, that's not your normal roller for stamps. I understand that. It's a pastry brush I had in the drawer <laughs> that I don't use. So I thought, oh, that will be perfect for rolling this paint on. <laughs> use what you got, right? And I just rolled on some paint and 
put it this with the glass out I was able to get it in the corners I was able to get it exactly where I wanted on the piece so now you see me this put this all over the back at first I was putting it on the picture as well and then I'm like eh, I don't really need to go on the picture I can kind of do it the way I did with the crackle and put it just where I want it so that's what you're going to see me do in this part now it's really coming together kind of like the vision in my head and I absolutely love brick I love anything brick so I knew I would fall in love with this brick stamp I did this to the back of both pieces of glass so all eight pictures have brick on the back and you can see it coming through but the pictures still aren't looking any different it's it's not that vintage yellowy brown look I wanted so I thought well maybe if I and the brick wasn't popping as much as I wanted so I'm like well maybe if I put some black ink and then come on the front of this and add black brick to the front um it would really make it stand out more and I did that up in the corner really got some ink on there the first attempt didn't really show too much so here's me putting more ink on it lifting it up and no you totally lose the white so I didn't like that but one great thing about working on glass is if you don't like it a baby wipe takes care of your problem. <laughs> All you have to do is grab a baby wipe and wipe it right off the glass and start over. <laughs> so I decided no with a black brick. That wasn't going to work. Um, I like how the white is on the back. And now we got to figure out a way to do these vintage pictures. Um, I thought also, before I do the pictures, maybe adding some crackle. So I put some crackle, that was way too dark. I put some crackle down, there we go. And then I added a little bit of crackle around the pictures and I added a little bit of that crackle around the brick as well. I liked that. I liked how this was coming along with the different textures. Um, also the crackles on the front, the brick is on the back. So you're get, I think it added kind of dimension, kind of layers to this. And then now I'm going to work on the pictures. So I like what this is. I like how this is coming along. I bought, you guys have seen me use my ink pad that I absolutely love. My brown ink pad. You see it in almost every video. I absolutely love it. So when I was on Amazon, I found this spray. Does never used this before. Ever, ever, ever. I thought it would give it a hint. But the first squirt, I knew this was going to be dark. <laughs> <laughs> and it was now this was the picture I had in my head brown distressed pictures and when I sprayed it I'm like oh, I don't know now and I probably just ruined my whole piece but I didn't get too scared I came in with a baby wipe and I'm kind of dabbing because I didn't spray I didn't go maybe I should hmm. now thinking back maybe I should have just sprayed the whole dang window instead of done it in the like groups that I did. I don't know, leave in the comments below what you think. Have you used the spray before? It's pretty powerful. Um, I should have read the directions. And see, now you're getting like brown spots. It's not really changing the picture though. I kind of wanted the picture to look more old, but we're getting there. I love the brown on the um, brick. So here's me on the second pane, and I already committed to the first pane, so now I'm committing to the second one as well. And I spray the brown on, I take a baby wipe, and I start dabbing. So during this process, I actually put a little bit more on this pane too. During this process, it dawned on me, maybe you should read the directions. Hmm. Okay, so as I'm reading the directions, it says to spray it on, and then use water to really ignite it, <laughs> get it going. I don't know. That's how it starts working. So I did not know this. So I put the window pane back in. And right now, I was kind of afraid 
to do the water. I'm like, if I do water, these pictures get wet. They get ruined. This is printer paper these pictures are on. Um, maybe the Mod Podge also. Now, in hindsight, putting the Mod Podge on the back of these pictures might be one of the reasons, too. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is what we got right now. It has kind of the effect I wanted, but a little bit too dark. So I'm just going for it. So I take my water bottle and I start spraying, hoping it doesn't tear the pictures, hoping when I dab this, it doesn't rip or anything, these pictures. Okay, so you can actually see it. See it start working? That's crazy. So I come in with my baby wipe and I just start dabbing. This takes so much off, so much of that brown and leaves just a hint of it behind. So I'm liking this. And I love how cool the back of this looks. I don't know. Don't you guys like the back of this? Really? I almost thought, <laughs> I'm so silly. I almost thought about flipping it because <laughs> the back actually turned out so stinking cute. Look at that. But I'm liking, I have another door. So this was my test project. I'm liking how this turned out, but I need you guys' help. Give me some comments, please. Do you like it? What would you do different? What could I do? Because see, there's my other door. I got one more door that I want to do. I have all my pictures ready to put on it, but I wanted to play this video for you guys, and I wanted your input. You are so smart. You have so many great suggestions. What would you do different? So here's how it looks. I really like it because I love vintage. I love old-fashioned, and I love those pictures. So yeah, I'm really liking this. I'm going to show you a picture kind of at dusk with the lights on as well. Um, here's a close-up, and leave the comments below your suggestions, please. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I was a chatty Kathy throughout the whole video, but I really hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned. I got so many more ideas. I can't wait. I'm so excited to share them with you. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell for future notifications. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. All those things just help my channel so much. I love you guys. I hope you guys are having a blessed and most wonderful week. I'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all.